Hi there and welcome to CPA Yoga. My name is Alex and today we're going to learn about the cat pose and the cow pose. But first, we need to take some deep breaths in to fill our body with yoga energy. So find a nice comfortable spot on your mat. You could be sitting on your bottom, sitting on your knees or sitting in a chair. And we're going to take some deep breaths through our nose and then blow it out through our mouth into the room. Okay, let's start. Big breath in and blow it all out. And again, big breath in and blow it all out. One more time, big breath in, blow it all out. Awesome, I think we're ready to start some yoga. So first, to do the cat pose, we're going to move onto our hands and on our knees. Now, if you need a little bit of help getting into this position, make sure you ask mum and dad. Or, if you're going to be doing this exercise sitting in a chair, you can look at the photos up the top. Okay. So hands and knees on the mat, and we're going to move our backs up towards the sky and drop our heads down towards the ground. Let's go. Big cat stretch up, drop our head, and you can even make the cat noise. Meow. Great job. Back to the start. Let's go again. Big stretch up, drop our heads. Meow. Awesome. One more time. One more big stretch. Meow. Great job. Now sometimes when we do the cat stretch, we like to stretch our arms as well. So what we're going to do is move into the cat pose and then lift one arm up into the sky and have a big arm stretch. Now if that is a little bit tricky, you can pop your hand down on the mat like this. Okay, let's go. Big stretch up, meow, and back to the start. Awesome, keep going. Big stretch up, meow, great job. Two more I think. Big stretch up, meow, and back to the start. Let's do one more. All the way up, meow, and back to the mat. Great job. That's how we do the cat pose. Now, to do the cow pose, we're going to start on our hands and knees as well. Just like before, make sure you look at the pictures up above if you want to have a little bit of a modification. So to do the cow pose, we're going to drop our bellies down towards the ground, lift our tailbones up towards the sky, and lift our heads up towards the sky too. Okay, let's go. Bellies down, tailbones up, make sure you make the cow noise. Moo! Great job. Back to the start. Let's go again. Belly down, tailbone up. Moo! Awesome work. Can we do one more? Belly down, tailbone up. Moo! Great job. Now, let's try a tricky cow leg stretch. So we're going to move into the cow pose and then lift one leg up. Now it's a little bit tricky so make sure you get some help from an adult if you need. Now if this is too hard you can even just pop your foot down on the ground and stretch it out. Okay let's give it a go together. So move into the cow pose, stretch one leg back and move. Great job. Back to the start. Can we do the other side? Belly down. Moo. Great job. Let's do two more. Belly down. Tailbone up. Stretch that leg out. Moo. Well done. Last one, I think. Big stretch. Moo. Well done. So now we've done the cat pose and the cow pose. I think we can put them together. Let's go. Cat pose, cow pose, cat pose, 
cow pose. Final big cat pose stretch. And the last cow pose stretch. Great job guys, well done. We've done all of our yoga moves for the day. So what we're going to do is find a nice comfortable spot on our mat again. You can be sitting on your bottom, on your knees, or you could even be lying down if you like. Um, and we're going to do a few more breaths. So just like before, rest our hands in our lap. Let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And a big breath in. And a big long breath out. Let's finish with one more. Big breath in and a big breath out. Now feel free to just sit down or lie down and have a few more moments before you get up. But to finish off, let's pop our hands together near our heart and we're going to say the special yoga word, which is Namaste in the count of three. One, two, three, namaste. See you next time.